Switch it up a little bit, change the topics up a little bit. But we're gonna come back with some, we're gonna start with some instant pop. Let's get into this instant pop, man. Right. A lot of new female artists That's coming cool. out. A lot of new female artists coming out. A lot of female. I was listening to the radio the other day. A lot of female artists on the radio. I'm talking about they playing the song back to back to back to back. With all the female artists on the radio. The City Girls was recently interviewed and they said um, that and they said that due to all the women coming out and stuff like that, the men are getting scared of the women taking over the industry. And now they're saying that's why they're saying like all the men hating on the female music, talking about Megan Stallion and Cardi B with the walk. So now they're saying that like they the men feel like they about to take over. So that's why they hating it's a pushback. So you know what I'm saying? What you think about that? You think the women about to take over? Well, we being taken over this shit. It's about to get us together. Let's get our shine. Don't be hating now. Let's get our shine. Cause mama, mama, you had Nicki Minaj at one period of time for years. It was no female artist but her. Mm-hmm. Then Cardi B came along, did Megan the same. They needed more female artists. There wasn't really no female artists out here. So now that the female artists are out here, like, you got a lot of, you know, rainbow people that mess with that type of music, females that mess with that type of music, and some guys that might, you know, buy their head to that music. But let us have our shine. They hate it. And then they made it in a lot of time because it's way it's flippy. What are, what are rainbow people? Gay people. <laughs> All right, you don't want them folk come at your head. Call them for rainbow people. <laughs> yeah, you can't call them rainbow people. So that's that's an acceptable name. They 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 like they it's cool calling them rainbow people. Yep, in my eyes it is. <laughs> I will call them Care Bears or something, man. Huh? I said you might well call them Care Bears or something. You remember Care Bears? Yeah, I got a Care Bear on my leg. I love the Care Bears. Yeah, that's why I said you might as well call them Care Bears. You call them Rainbow people. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. All right. But, I, you know, I, don't, I think they... How you feel? I think it's... I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a major push. Major push. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's going to come to a point where, you know, they pretty much be on the same level as the men because they're establishing their own fan their own fan base and stuff like that and plus let me tell you the truth women were the only one buying music anyway so yeah it was so my friend she, she's 40 years old she still paid for music it, i mean even back in the day when nigga was was if you go back to tapes when nigga was dubbing tapes niggas dub tapes women bought the tapes CDs, niggas burnt, right. niggas burnt the tape. Women bought the CDs. Now, now it's download. Now right. it's called download. Women downloading this stuff from Apple's and shit like that. Niggas is just getting it off their girl phone and shit. You see what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. what it, that's what it is. It's cheap. It's, all, it's always been like that. So now the women rapping, and then with the women fan base, like how can they lose? Like they gonna eat. You feel what I'm saying? Cause ain't no nigga going out buying right. a studio album. You see what I'm saying? Right. Niggas don't buy. I guess the 
I guess what you say, the, the rainbow people buy. buy <laughs> yeah. Buy, you know what I'm saying? But like normal, normal niggas don't, and it's not naturally buying, you know what I'm saying, female rap CD, female rap CD. The nigga buy some, some right. nigga buy R&B, uh, uh, a different type of R, old school R, Sade type stuff. But niggas ain't necessarily buying the R&B this. So, you know, now they, they cornering the market. It's, it's, it's a win-win for me. I think they winning. Okay, let's, okay, let's move on. Right. Right. Let's move on to the next one with the next little topic. You heard all the, you seen all the verses going on, you know, everybody battling, you know, uh, who they had, they had Monica and Brand, the last, the last ones, and, mm-hmm. and uh, Gladys Knight and Patty LaBelle. I thought, was, I thought it was Gladys Knight and Patty LaBelle. Yeah, yeah, Gladys Knight and Patty LaBelle, that was the last one. So, with all the verses, mm-hmm. like, which 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 one do you think you should should go next? Who who you think should go next? Who would you like to see? Bow. Hmm. Usher. Uh-huh. Mm. And um who's my other singer? Crip Brown. Usher and Crip Brown. That'll be a good one. That'll be a good one. Yep, could they be dancing? Yes. They be dancing. Yeah. I wonder who will win though, man. Usher got them fucking hit. I go for Usher all day. Yeah, Chris Brown got them hit, man. I Chris Brown Chris, got hit, but Usher, Usher. I put Chris Brown up against Michael Jackson. Oh yeah. Well, Michael Jackson not here. Yeah, he not here, but I'm just. But Chris, you can't put Chris Brown against Michael Jackson because he wasn't even in that era. It don't matter. It do matter. I think he'll beat him. You don't, you, don't see, you don't see Patty LaBelle going against Monica? I mean, that's because they ain't set it up there like that. Yeah, because that's, that wasn't in their era. You, that, I guess they're going by people in the era. That's just like KC and JoJo going against uh, a new singing group. You know what I'm saying? No, no could you remember uh, Three Sit Mafia wanted to go against Migos? But they can do that because they wasn't in the era. That's but what I'm he, trying to tell you. They but he, the still, he still want to do it. I don't think they're doing errors. I really don't. I don't think they're doing errors. I think they're just doing... They're doing errors. I think they're just doing battling who battling. I don't think they're doing errors. No, I think they're doing the errors because of the, if you look at the verses, uh, they going against the old school. They're like Snoop Dogg went against... uh. Snoop Dogg went against um, what's his name? Snoop Dogg went against DMX. Yeah, that's the old era. That's the old era. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know, but I think like I think like um, that was like. Two different parts of I don't know. I'll say the two different parts of the same time, but it wasn't the same time. You feel what I'm saying? It like it's like Wait, that was an old, old that was an old group. Like Snoop Dogg came out at a certain time, and then like it's almost like Snoop Dogg tailed off, and then at that same period of time like DMX came out. But they won at the same time battling. You feel what I'm saying? Like Jen and Ju- DMX went out when Jen and Juice was out. I yep. know, but he still was like older. That was like, the, that, was like the high, that was like the height they of really- Snoop Dogg career. And that man went out. They really could have did DMX against Jay Z or Jay Z against Jada Kiss and shit or Nas against uh, Jay Z or you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the era. I mean, I don't look at it like because I don't think they're gonna let uh, Migos battles three six. That ain't even no battle. They ain't no battle. Because it's because three six fan base is not like the Migos. They was out 
a long time ago. That music that going against the new era music, that's not going to work. That's what I'm telling you. It's about the era. It's like three, it's going to have to go against somebody and catch pot boys or some shit. They just doing hits. That's it. They just doing hits. This hits. That's that's how I look. They, 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 they gonna have to go against Cash Money or Master P them or some shit. Who? Or or Trick Daddy them? I don't damn know. Three six yeah. mm -hmm. would go against. Um, they would have to go against. UGK or Outkast or if you're gonna do air That's what I'm saying. I just said I said cash money or trick daddy, you know. They can't go against trick daddy. Trick daddy ain't no group. You know he had slip and slide records. Who was all who all was in that part of that shit? <laughs> yeah, that was just, that was a regular label. That was a regular label album. They were just putting everybody <laughs> on that album. You talking about all that Texas house shit and all that? Uh, they can't go against a group in Atlanta. What group they can go against? Um, uh, I ain't gonna say the organization because nobody really know them like that. What is one of them old rapping groups in Atlanta? Not Baby D one no rap. That's Oop. That's Oop Camp. Them. <laughs> what was the organization song? Um, can't stop no player. Can't stop no player. Better get your hustle on. Earn some cheese. Earn some don't pay no fee. Really uh, I just saw my uh, 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 my at the time we had some homeboy and they were signed to um the city boys had a uh, a record label. And mm -hmm. they, they were signed to their record label. Oh, that shit didn't last. No, none of that shit last long. None of that shit was <laughs> they, they were up and down. Uh, Oop camp, I'm surprised nobody from Oop Camp. You know what I'm saying? I ain't still out here. They were strong now. Who did that? Sammy Sam was the strongest nigga on. Yeah, I thought Baby D was with Uncount. Oh, yeah, he was in the beginning, wasn't he? He was with Uncount. Yeah, you know, I know them niggas used to be at the flea market and shit. Kelly yeah. Rowe. <laughs> in the beginning, but when he, when he made that little crossover hit, he wasn't with Uncount no more. Mm hmm. He ain't getting no Uncount no more. Who you think? Hmm. Who you think you'd be a good battle for, like Destiny Child? Oh, they go against SWV. They go against a uh, Totem. They go against Blackstone. You know, I know them groups now. Now, if you was in a group like Destiny Child, would you let one of your members like sleep in the car? Hell no. In, from house to house, because that's basically what Latoya Lucky said she was doing while she was in Destiny Child. She was sleeping from yeah. house to house, sleeping in the car. Said she was drinking a, a, a gallon of water and getting some ramen noodles and cooking yep. it, cooking it in the hotel, yep. and shit like that. Like, what's what's up? What you think, little folk? What what be on that shot? You know, folk don't be looking out for each other like that. You know that. In the same group? In the same group. You you don't see how these groups are fucking the goddamn each other on um, girl or baby mama and shit freak feeds them. They were even though they was in the group, don't mean they were just cool like that. That we remember we talked about that now. Hey man. I don't even see it happening, man. Like I don't And that was the first one, and that was the first person to go, wasn't it? If I, if I, yeah, and if I can't, no, I think that little short, dark skin girl, the no name girl, don't nobody know who she was. Yeah, but other than that, Kelly and Beyonce like took off. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
But I'm saying, like, if I'm in a group with somebody that I can't even give a couch to and a pillow, like, I don't want to be in the group with them. I don't, I don't trust them like that. So we need to go on here <laughs> and get them out of the group regardless, like, because I ain't fucking yeah. like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That that's that's crazy. That's crazy. But uh, you think I'm gonna have a member? None of my. I mean, if if I'm in a group with somebody, I feel that we should know each other. You know, like I was young, I was starting a singing group, and then was with my that that was my friend. So I don't know how close Beyonce was to uh Latoya. And Kelly, you know what I'm saying? You just never know. Just like the uh, girls that you brought to the club and we interviewed them. I don't even see the other girl with them no more. Yeah, I, I think she had a group. And she had a group. You talking oh, about that's what I'm thinking. Like you just never know who's close to what and who's and what. But you see when we interviewed them, you seen the little, you know what I mean? The little friction, like everybody wanna the Taylor girls. Yeah, everybody wanna rocking with everybody like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, you see it, yeah. You can notice it. I think the- two of them were sisters. That's what you see. Two of them were sisters, and now you see the other girl over there. So the two sisters are still in the group? Yeah. <laughs> see what I'm saying? The, but the friend not. The friend not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Knew that. that you, right. You could, you could tell that like, they weren't going they gonna keep it together. Then they would vouch like different folk would like vouch like, yeah, I had I wrote that like, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. They were like, it wasn't no. I came up with that. Yeah, I came up with that. We. It wasn't no we. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you could tell like they weren't gonna they weren't gonna make it out. They were gonna make it out. It but no, I ain't team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's get into this this buttery relationship question. Real greasy relationship. Real I can't agree with mine because I'm holding strong. <laughs> Real greasy. How many? Since you okay, since you you're a woman, how many men have you slept with in one day? Going back to your thought days when you was in high school. Count it out. How, how many? How many you done had in one day? I slept with two of them in one day. Two. No threes. I wasn't overdoing it like that. Hell no, I wasn't overdoing no, it like that. Now. No trifling. And I ain't did that. You can't do that shit often. You can't do it. So how many? Too many. I don't know, cause I don't kick it like that. I think two was too many in one damn day. To be honest. Like that's just too much. Like then it's like it's like you have so like I didn't never like sleeping with multiple men at one time. This would be when I wasn't with nobody. You get what I'm saying? Do you play? When I was a player. <laughs> and then it then it just seemed, it just didn't seem right. So the type of person I only, I only did that maybe one or two times. The, only, the type of person I am is I'm not gonna sleep. With a nigga, and then they don't sleep with another nigga. I didn't ever like that. I, I ain't never like doing it. Cause I wouldn't want nobody to do me like that. Like, so how, least, so how old was the last time when you did it? That was young. Like, that was high school days. Like, I do that shit when I was older. Sleeping with two men that on the same day and like that. I didn't like that type of shit. So you just wild. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever like that. Huh? So you just wild and. <laughs> I was never like that. Mm-mm, I don't like doing it. I don't like messing with multiple men at one, you know, like in the same day or the same week or like say for instance, if I fuck with a nigga and I'm single, I might be stuck with that nigga for months. You get what I'm saying? At least if I'm not rocking with him like that and I, I'm starting to like somebody else and I start messing with that person, then I might start messing with that nigga for months. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't that like I'm switching up, fucking this nigga this day and fucking this nigga that day then shit and then we don't fuck this nigga and fucking this nigga. It wasn't like me. Yeah. And it, it, yeah. It, when we was younger, like uh that we was we was trying to accomplish the the, the trifecta, like the three in the three in one day. We tried. We were, we were definitely trying. 
But uh, yeah, me ain't did like right. me. What you y'all niggas a punk? Goddamn, three and four bitches in one day. Like y'all do shit like that. How many? How many have you fucked with in one day? Let's turn the question around. That's what I'm saying. Like two, but that's what I'm saying too. Two and in one day. Two. Mm-hmm. That's no more than two. Mm-mm. You lying. Mm-mm. I tried. Yes. I tried. I ain't gonna lie. I did <laughs> try. Every, every time, every, huh? every time I was about to pull it off, that last one went in. Like every time, but they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't do it. That third. Now what y'all need to get trying to fuck one day? Huh? Now what y'all need to get trying to fuck three bitches in one day? I can't do it like that. It wasn't the third one. It was always something happened with the third one. It always something happened with the third one. So, you know. You try to be greedy. My, <laughs> a lot of my problems, a lot of my problems had accomplished the feat, but you know what I'm saying? I just, and this, this was, I know this is the day of tricking, but this was no tricking. This was no tricking. Yeah. And I know this is the day of tricking. They'd be like, oh, I just go pay you. I put three bitches one day for $150. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. Dang, that's not flexing. Yeah, nigga be flexing. I'm talking about niggas going out, getting girl normal, talking to them, woo and getting them lined up all in the same day, and, and they did it like that. That's what I was talking about. That's why um, that is nasty. It's too much shit out here. I'm always getting picky about who I fuck. I ain't back in the day. That was back in the day. I'm talking about back in the day. I've been picky about who I fuck. Like, some girl be like, oh, he got men, money. He I don't give a damn what he got. So you were picky about them two dudes that you slept with in the same day? Yeah. <laughs> sure was. No picky. I'm like, mm. <laughs> Then it might be the reason why I might start messing with that nigga. Like I told you, if I saw, if I fucked another nigga, that might be like, I started liking that one over that one and then fuck with that nigga. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how they going to be with this nigga for months, for years. Shit like that. <laughs> it, it, it'll be basically like you, you you about to stop sucking with somebody type shit and you move on. You know what I'm saying? And you, yeah. And you fuck with that nigga. That's it be on that type of shit, not oh, I'm for the fuck nigga, then they then come on him for the fuck this nigga too. It wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? So you so you fought with a nigga in the in early in the day, but you feel like y'all about to be on the outs. So then another nigga called you who you like and you told him to come over and you fought with him and you fought him because you feel like that was gonna be the new relationship. Correct. And this happened two times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I see. <laughs> I see. <mean, laughs> <laughs> I I hope you write it down. There I go. There I go. You know what I'm saying? But we were we, we, niggas was not on that shit. Like niggas, that's what they were aiming to do. Like that's what they were aiming to do. Yeah. Get you get you three in a day. And you know what I'm saying? You get a strike for that. So you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all niggas think it's a game. <laughs> Every time. <Y'all> <laughs> think- yeah, yeah but then everything was a game. But let's get into no, no, I, y'all play too fucking much. <laughs> let's get into this shit or lit. Shit or lit. Lit, man. Who we got up for? We got Noggin by OTG. Mm, we don't did and we did o, and we did OTG before. Yep, they won't keep sending their music in. They just seem to be sending their music in. Okay, I ain't mad at them. They get noggin. Pull out a rest on that look at the head, no pick, no pop at the 
All of my niggas, they keep me a thousand of fish in the middle of the island. The fish is a girl like mine. All of my dogs, we gotta get out of here. It's a lot. It's just a lot of them. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. But it's the main nigga though, or uh, the nigga who be uh, you know the nigga the main. It's, four, it's, like four, it's like it's like four or five of them. When we watching the video, you was like you. I was like, who the nigga who sang that verse? And you were like the nigga with the long coat on. Mhm. Mm you know what I'm talking about. Mhm. -mm. You remember that was, you remember the video, right? What video? Uh -huh. oh, was it? I'm fucking the blocks, I get it. I get it. Yeah, they ain't had no coat on and like that. It was hot. Uh huh. It was hot. They they ain't have nobody had a coat on. They had a, a long shirt on or some some you said or black. He had the black shirt on or something. I don't know. His name Young Young Nuke. Young Nuke. Young Nuke. Young Nuke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cud Cud got a sound to him. Yeah, he got a different sound. Yeah. Snapping too low. The other nigga on there be snapping too low. That's uh fucking with the mob. That's his Instagram. Yeah, the other nigga be on there rapping hard too though. But I, I fuck with him though. I fuck with him though. It's, it's like four or five of them. One of them died. R.I.P. to Jimmy, you know, when the police had killed them and they had a little rally for them. You know, they from Born Homes and they say justice for Jimmy. Okay, R.I.P., man. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck with them. They make good music, man. Good music. All right, let's get into this mm -hmm. uh, This Overdose, Candlelight by Overdose. Prada, Prada. This Round and see, let me get you. Let me go get your camera. Get on your head. I'm like, yeah, tell me, nigga, better ask. I'm like, what's right? No, no. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot your look on the down and right. Hit your block. Shoot your look on the down and right. Round and see, let me get you. Let me go get your camera. Get on your head. I'm like, yeah, tell me, nigga, better ask. I'm like, what's right? No, no. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot your look on the down and right. Hit your block. Go 
okay, okay, over those kind of like shit or lick. Shit or lick. I like it. Lick to me. I like it. He going in. I, I get where he come from. I'm talking about like kind of like when somebody pays and shit. That was that was it. Oh, it was shit to me. It was shit. Why you didn't like it? I don't know if it was the beat. It like the beat had too much going on. I don't know. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't feeling it like that. I don't bop my head on it. I don't think like what they were talking about was add going with the beat. It just, it doesn't do it for me. It was awkward. You know what I'm saying? You're right. I don't know. I, it, it mostly, I'm saying it mostly the beat. I'm saying it mostly the beat. Like, I, I just want to vibe with that beat like that. You know? Mm-hmm. But, you know, they they got some more shit they want to send in. I'm with them. Listen to it. Like, the, the, the verses one when the verses one trash like that. You know what I'm saying? Who's going in? I just couldn't get over that beat. Like I'm trying to get the beat like yeah. Then, then, then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm simple. It make too much noise for you. It make too much noise. Like I'm a simple yeah. I want to I, I just want to hear. It. Like niggas ain't making the beat doing too much. Yeah, niggas ain't making no. You think you should put you think you think you should put it on a different beat? That's what you saying. I mean, I want to. I want to. If, if you want to put it on a different beat and, let, and, and send it in, like I, I listen to it, but like that beat just didn't do it for me. It just like, like, like it was just. I don't know. It just didn't go. But what they were talking about, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That's all I can get from us. Now I get to our. Uh, Popcorn. Popcorn. We need to get out there and have some popcorn over here. You know, I had went and got the popcorn thing. And I was going to popcorn thing. I was gonna hold the popcorn tub. I was going to hold it up and eat out of it. I got a what's the name for you. <laughs> I got a what's the name for you, too. It's like a what? It's like a Forever NT. Do rag ain't no do rag. It's like a, you know them bands that like y'all be wearing around y'all headband. Head. Yeah, like head, not not them head, head band. not them headband they wearing now with the, with the little bedazzled shit. You know what I'm saying? The headband like you tie around your your forehead. You know what I'm talking about? You talking about head scarf? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. But anyway, all oh, right. They got friends being together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you must have seen. You must have been able to print out my logo. I was. I've been able to print out the logo when you gave it to me in black and white. Remember you had. Oh that? yeah, you said it wouldn't go on. It wouldn't go on my mask. Right, because you had that polyester thing. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, they said the vaccine's about to get shipped out mid October. And uh, you know, they just the Cal County just announced that uh they letting the kids come back to school uh like October 15th or something. Uh, I think they, they give I think they're giving the parents an option, like continue virtual learning when the kids come to school. But either way, they're gonna be in school two days a week, so it don't even matter. But uh with all this going on, are you gonna go get the vaccine? You gonna let the kids go back to school? Hell no. Neither one. They not getting neither one. Mm. I'm not with all that vaccine shit. Not the new shit anyway. I said but, then go, but then you go get your kids the measles shots and all that? Yeah, the older shots. I don't give them the new shots. Whatever they used to give us back in the day, like what I got. Then I let them get. I don't let them get the flu shot. I don't let them get the one that go up their nose. I don't let them get the new shit. No. 
So what do you think? The, what do you think the difference is between the stuff that they were giving us back then and the stuff that they giving them now? They just created this shit. They don't know what the fuck they doing. That's why you get no commercials. If you got message, tell them whatever that shit is. <laughs> From taking it, what is it, message, tell them knowledge, whatever that shit is. You seen a commercial from taking it. If you got this from using baby powder, if you got this, no, I'm saying fuck me. <laughs> Come up with all this shit they be trying to sue for. But see, they they just learn they learning that the stuff that they were that we were using back in the day were harmful to our bodies. The companies knew that they were harmful to our bodies, but they weren't letting us know. So that's why they coming out. That's why all these lawsuits coming out because they just now figuring out like, oh, this shit was harmful to our bodies. And they knew about that shit, and they still let us uh take this shit. I want that how uh, baby powder, baby, that's baby powder. It shouldn't be harmful. But, but like baby pop, Johnson Johnson willing to pay that amount of money for a lawsuit because they don't make billions, billions off baby powder. So it don't, it not gonna hurt them to to cut cut this group of people a check for three hundred million, or these people a check for ten or twenty, because they don't make billions off that shit. You see what I'm saying? So they they just will like with the, um, just like with the hernia mesh. My son had got a hernia repair. I said, hmm, everybody call up there and get me some fucking money. <laughs> yeah. If you've been take cause these cause the, the pharmaceutical company, the drug companies feel like it like quick flips. It's just like these nigga have, you know how these people go and buy clubs. They you see a club going on for a little bit after six months, then boom, that shit dead. They just get the money up out of it. Then gone, they go on to another club, they flip that, get that shit going. You know what I'm saying? That's how the pharmaceutical companies do the drug. They get all the money off of it, make them billions, and then when the sick people come back and they from the side effect that they knew what was gonna happen and do the lawsuit, they'll give you that couple million or something like that. Because they done made billions. You see what I'm saying? Right. So I don't know. And then nowadays, you know, they put out all that shit like. Warning may cause this, may cause that, may cause your ill fall off, may cause your nose to shrivel up. Like, because <laughs> yeah. like, I don't want to get that too. They don't want to get too. So they're like, nigga, it'll, it'll stop your goddamn, you being goddamn depressed, but you might die from this shit. But you can take it though, it'll stop your depression. You know what I'm saying? That's how they playing with it now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, mm, you take, uh, I'm, I'm trying to see what. What Dr. CB had. Well, they try to make you take it. You uh, you know, you you be in the schools. What they make you take it? I don't know, man. You gonna take it? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. You gotta go. You gotta go get other employment around that motherfucker. You gotta go. Yeah, yeah. So that was my issue when I was working in the medical field. That's why I went in the hospitals like that because they try to make you take the flu shot. No, I don't want no fucking flu shot, so I will not be working for you. Period. But they gonna get. Hey. A, they trying to make people take this shit. They gonna get a whole bunch of put pushback. Like you gonna get real riding. Like you, you can't make nobody take no motherfucking. Like they like they try to make people take the flu shot by offering it for free. Like yeah, come get it. You know? They push. They just pushing it on you. Take the flu shot. Take the flu shot. But you can't make nobody take no no shot. You can't make nobody take no vaccine if they don't want it. That's against their constitutional right. Yeah, you right. So yeah, you're right. But at the same time, they said we own to the United States. Once we had um that birth certificate and our parents signed it, it's like we own to this country. That's why you know some of them foreign countries, they have rulers that make them do shit. And then when they don't do this shit, they ask them to do. They chop their head off or their hands and shit. You know, like it, you can't be on the internet for a certain amount of hours in China. They cut that shit off. They rule everything. That's why everybody comes over to the United States because we're free. We're free. But as you see now, like when a motherfucker say you can't come in here uh, without your mask, you can't come in here without no fucking mask. You might not want even wear a mask. You don't know them folks putting chemicals or shit that'll fuck your face up or that you're breathing in. And these masks that's coming from China or all over these motherfucking places because China own everything. They want to kill us. All they have to do is put in the mask because we're going to wear it anyway. They're making us got to wear the mask. That's the crazy thing about it. Like, these niggas say the disease supposed to come from China, 
Yeah, they getting mass imported from China and selling it to us the well. Correct. <laughs> yeah, correct. Like we some test dummies and shit. We don't know if they putting shit in there. We don't know. That's why I say I don't like wearing that mask all the time. Like they shit, they they ask me like, do you think you broke out? Like when I broke out on my face, they like, do you think it's the mask? I don't know. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I said I forgot about that because I be wearing it all the time. Yeah, my face broke out down here, right there where the mask was like gripping that. Like them mad, like them, I, like the mask I wear now that the, 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 uh, the counter gave us, like it don't do that. But the mask I was wearing before that I got from the uh, beauty supply store, they had, they had it like breaking out right there where, where that shit be. That's what I'm telling you. You don't know if they put shit in the mask. We don't know. But they tell me you gotta wear it or you can't go inside the store. You gotta wear it or you get five five hundred dollars in some states. You get what I'm saying? They make you do something that you might don't want to do. You got you gotta buy the you gotta buy the mask and then like wash them out. Wash them as soon as you get them. But the reason why these folks make you wear mad because all these businesses is privately owned. Like they private business, so the government can't control, like even though Kemp say, we ain't gotta wear a mask. Like the people saying, like if you want to come in my store, you gotta wear a mask. You see what I'm saying? Right. But some like the liquor, like the liquor store, they don't require you to wear no mask. Like over here, why man? They they people. Well, gotta, they liquor stores. Huh? They don't give a fuck. They liquor stores. I mean, they ain't got like the head nigga who own it. He ain't got no mask, but his workers had on mask, so. I don't know. It's just different. You know what I'm saying? But like I ain't I ain't doing this. I I don't I can't take that vaccine. I don't even take the flu shot. So I can I don't I can't do that. I can't do it. I've, yeah, I, because they force you to do shit you ain't got no being to do. My phone worked in the whole uh cafeteria at Emory and they told her she had to take the flu shot. It's recommended if you work for um the hospital, just everybody gotta take a flu shot to work here. I said, so you gotta take the flu shot for and you just work in the cafeteria. Um, you're not even working with no patient. Maybe they come get a flu and stuff like that. But I told them I don't wanna work there if I have to take a flu shot. No. They said tell them folks you Jehovah's Witness and you ain't got it lean. You gotta tell them folks you Muslim. I be using that Muslim shit loosely. <laughs> loosely. I'm Jehovah's Witness, man. I don't we don't do no flu shots. None of that. And that came, came mess with you. Uh, just like my mom, she tried to, she let the kids go to the boys and girls club without even asking me how I felt about it. And I'm like, they're going to be around different kids and all that stuff. And I don't let them around different kids. I only let them around like people I know who I be around and stuff like that. But I don't know who them kids be around and stuff like that. So she was like, did you sign the paper? Because they still trying to go next week. Duh, duh, duh. And I would tell her, look, I don't even know if I want them to attend. You get what I'm saying? You can't tell me to sign a paper and I don't want, I don't even know if I want them to attend the Boys and Girls Club. She's like, well, it's about, they said they're gonna have about 10 students, you know, just to keep them busy, you know, get them out of the house. I understand that, but the point is, uh, when I read the paper, she tried to get me to sign, it was a waiver saying that they won't basically be responsible if they was to get COVID-19. Uh -huh. No, no. Bitch, you are gonna be responsible. That's the, that's the same thing the the Cal County try to make the parents sign for their kid to play football. Like they that's can, what I'm trying to tell you, they might try to make you sign a waiver. They will have to give you them papers and forms before you go into school. Okay, if your child don't take this, then if he get called, we're not responsible type shit. Do you need you know like no, I'm not no. Yeah, yeah. It, whenever they trying to make it, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to fuck this COVID nineteen shit got out of hand around these motherfuckers. It's too, it's too much technology out here for that shit to, eat, to, to shut that shit down. Like they say. Hi, it's Fred. Hi, it's Fred. They're so fast because Donald Trump was on the damn news tomorrow. Oh, don't need to worry about that. It's way over there in China. You know, let me know. Ooh, I'm panic scene. Yeah. And now <laughs> it reached the United States. It reached the United States. Alert! 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 Yeah, yeah. Now that, now that he, now it's election time. He was like he was wrong for that. 
he should have brought more awareness to it. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Right. They might they said they should get out here for a minute though. Yeah. Yeah. They said it, it was way like, before they warned us. Way before they warned us, they said the shit been out here. Yeah. Yeah. The same way they said somebody that uh What's that uh new that new uh disease they found in the China forest now? Damn. I'm so I'm no. so tired of them. And then now they're talking about what all these damn wildfires going on. This will be oh. another shot. They said there's new animals coming out of they never seen before and they couldn't track in the vices on them to see where they go. Quit tracking the vices on fishes to see where they go. Like leave these motherfuckers alone. <laughs> God damn, talking about just because you ain't seen them. You don't know every fucking animal in this fucking world. You know how many animals we got? Yeah. Come on, they saw, you know, the wildfires and, you know, burning down the forest and they've been moving away these forests. They somebody see animals they never seen before. Don't you know what they is? Nah, it's some, it was some, it's some, like they say, uh, if you go all the way to the, like to the, like they say it's levels in the, in the, uh, ocean floor and if you go up the further you go down the ocean floor the different animals that stay like deep down like they were like it's some real real shit say at the bottom like real devil shit stay down there you know what i'm saying so we don't i bet they do i bet they do and they gonna go down there and shit we don't know half of what's going on down here we think we know we don't know how you can't be in the water you can't be in the water that damn long it's only a certain amount of time you could be in them submarines while you're down there you don't know what will happen so my dad used to be in the submarine because he was in the navy and then you gotta come back up yeah yeah well you're not gonna explore the whole damn ocean that's our show for the day <laughs> Make sure y'all tune in, friends. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Tell a friend, you know, tell a friend. Tune in, man. Again, season six. Tune in to episode two next week. Hey, we might have a, we might have a, a interview. You never know. Y'all tune in, man. You never know. Yeah. All right, man. I'm your host, Panama Lee. Like Panama IG. Don't forget the SC. SC. Yeah, she got a wet shit. Yeah, she got a wet shit. Yeah, she got a wet shit. Oh, she got a wet shit.